So speaking of Sega, um, you stole my transition, you bitch. <laughs> so one of my favorite newer segments that we keep coming back to, we talk about gaming music, either video games inspired by real life music or vice versa. And as of late, it's been mostly video games inspired by real life music. And tonight is no exception. Um, Contra Hardcorps and how did I not see Ooh. this before? How did I never realize this? So I thought <clears throat> let me let me just lay it out first. So it's specifically the select screen, the character select screen in Contra Hardcorps. If you listen to it. You hear it and you're thinking like, okay, kind of upbeat, maybe a little, a little urban, if you will. Like, the, like there's just something to it. It just sounds like really like, huh? And now listen to Baby Got Back. And most specifically, I know you guys probably think I'm crazy, and the links are below. And wait till this is a, its own segment of video. But the baseline and Baby Got Back. And you compare it to this. I gotta say, it sounds kind of really similar. No, it's one hundred percent. It is one hundred percent ripped off. There is okay. So it's is, not me no, just being a no, little no, no, crazy. No, 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 no. Okay. Because I didn't know what you were getting at with this, but the second I like, I saw the, your little write up, and I was like, "Baby got back." And then I clicked the button. I was like, "Oh!" Like within like two seconds, <laughs> like that, like bum 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 bum. I was just like, "Oh, yep, yeah." Yep. Yeah, so it's, you know, and uh, I forget the timeline. I think Baby Got Back was... Came out before. 92 or something? 91, 92-ish, and Hardcore was at least 93, 94, something like that. Yeah, so there's definitely... But it's like, that's one of those ones that's so silly that, like, why would anyone think that it's there? And of all games, why would Contra Hardcorps have fucking Baby Got Back in there? It kind of works, and it's interesting, but at the end of the day, man, like, especially you being a Sega guy, there was there ever a time, like, even listening to that character select screen that you even, like, was it, like, catchy in your head at any point? You're like, oh, this is pretty good. Here's the problem for me. Contra Hardcore is really fucking hard, so I didn't grow up with it, and whenever I would play it as an adult, like, I'd only play it for, like, a half hour before I got too frustrated and put it away for, like, a month or two. So, like, I don't think I ever put enough time in to actually realize that. But, yeah, even just it being... Also, like, character select screens, I'm just like, you know, fucking just give me a character. I don't care. So I just, like, click through it real fast. But as soon as I heard it, I was like, oh, shit. This is something I definitely should have picked up on at some point. And that's interesting because uh, when I was playing the Super NES Classic earlier, um, I was playing Street Fighter 2, and... One of the things that kind of struck me is like, man, sometimes I feel like character select screens are underappreciated for the music they put in there. Because those, in theory, like you're probably going to hear enough, especially if it's a multiplayer game. Because you and your buddy are sitting there, you're, you're selecting. Like it's uh, sometimes they're really good and they keep you going. Other times, like they're just background noise. And I didn't grow up with this game at all, Contra Hardcore. So. I didn't know this until I did a little bit of research and I'm like, damn, that's pretty crazy. Like that probably would have been a kind of cool song to think of, like as I was going into the game, but you guys may think I'm crazy. The links are below until I make the actual video for this. But would you say it's open and shut case, Jim? I mean, some could say they were preeminently ripping off Nicki Minaj, but you know, there's always that, there's always that option. <laughs> People will be like, oh, wait, do, do they mean the Anaconda song? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's pretty open and shut. And actually, back to your point about uh, character select screens, as we talked about earlier, how Buddy Travis, uh, his Hibiki Quickie series, the theme song for that is the character select screen from Streets of Rage 3. I know. Man of taste. I that, if That's the only way I, I can fall. And the way he edits it is the only thing that makes that okay. That that man has worked Damn magic song. with Windows uh, fucking Windows Movie Maker. Yep, Jim, it's called effort. <laughs> hey 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 hey! I'm slowly getting more efforty with my stuff and transitionals <laughs> and stuff. 
Son of a bitch. So yeah, listen below. Once again, if you guys have any other examples, send, a, send them our way. I do have a little bit of a backlog now. But if you send us something interesting, we're going to listen to it. We're going to compare it. And we'll see if there's any credence there. Yeah, so you, let us know. If, if it's sent to us, we're going to put it to the top of the list, obviously. So, Absolutely. 